Hi guys, it's Danny and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to turn yourself into this super creepy twilight forest monster. This video is also going to be my entry for the NYX UK Face Awards 2017, so I hope you guys like this video. So if you want to find out how to create this look, just stay tuned. Okay, so to get the tutorial started, what you want to do is to block out both of your eyebrows. Now, I'm using the glue stick method, so you just want to take any washable school glue stick and run this through the eyebrow, making sure that you coat each hair with a layer of that glue. So you want to repeat this on both eyebrows and then let that layer of glue dry. So once the first layer is dry, you want to take a spatula or any sort of flat tool and you want to scrape off a bit of the glue stick and apply this over the top of that first layer of glue. You want to do a really thick layer here. If you get too much glue on your skin, you can just wipe that off with a baby wipe. And then once that's done, you want to let that dry as well. Once all the glue is dry, you want to take a light blue face paint. This is Sky Blue by Snazaroo, and you just want to paint your entire face in this. Don't worry about it getting a perfect coat. It can be patchy because we're going to try and make this look like the night sky. So there's going to be lots of different tones of blue going on. Don't forget to paint your ears. Now this is my least favorite part of makeup. I hate painting my ears, it feels horrible, but you wanna get right in there and make sure the whole ear is coated in paint and you should look something like this. So once you look like a giant smurf, you want to take a dark blue cream-based makeup and you want to use this to contour the face with. Now the reason I'm using a cream-based makeup here is it blends really nicely into water-activated paints, but I'm going to use this to cut out my cheekbones, around the jawline, around my hairline and around my nose. Now don't worry about perfect blending here again because it's all going to add to the effect later on. You just want to get a nice base down of the contour. Okay, and then you want to take a light blue cream makeup and you want to start using this color to highlight with. So you want to apply the light blue on the tops of the cheekbones, the center of the forehead, along the bridge of the nose, and also on the center of the chin as well. Basically think of it as any area where the light would naturally hit onto your face. Next you want to take a bright blue eyeshadow, this is After Party by Sugar Pill in the Pro Palette and a large fluffy brush and you want to use this as your transitional colour between the contour and the highlight. So you basically want to apply this in any area where the highlight and contour meet. I'm then taking a deeper shade of blue, this is Velocity in the same Sugar Pill Pro Palette and we're going to use this to darken up the contours a little bit more, so along the cheekbones and the temples, but I'm also going to now take this colour on the inner corner of the eye and along the bridge of the nose just to make that area look more sunken in. So once all the highlight and contour is done, you should look something like this. Now for the eyes, what I want to do is create this really messy, grungy eye. So I'm taking a black cream makeup, which I know is going to crease so badly. And I'm going to apply this all over the top lid and underneath the eye as well and buff that out. But you want to buff this out, leaving a lot of texture in, a lot of brush strokes. So it actually helps to dab the colour on along the top of the crease and under the eye as well. You're going to get this really lovely effect with all the brush strokes and the bristle marks but you want to take this quite low down under the eye as well and get this really sort of sunken in, scratchy, messy, creasy sort of look. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next, I wanted to add a bit of detail to the eyes, so I'm taking that same black cream makeup on a tiny detail brush this time, and I'm just gonna drag the color down into these sort of streaks to make it look like the makeup has run off of my face over time. And you also want to take these details and these streaks on the top part of the eyelid as well, just to kind of really grunge it up a bit. And then using a black eyeshadow, this is Sugar Pills Bulletproof. I just want to soften everything up a little bit, so I'm taking a large fluffy brush and just blending this over the top of the lines and all of the streaks. You can also take whatever's left on the brush and blend this down the nose as well, just to contour the bridge of the nose a little bit more. And the process is pretty much exactly the same for the mouth. You want to apply the black cream makeup and then do these sort of streaks coming down out of the mouth onto the chin. And then you want to dust over that with the same black eyeshadow. I'm then taking a black aqua colour face paint, this one's by Kryolan, and I'm going to start to create this sort of tree branch design on my cheeks, just over the top of where the contour was. So for this, I'm just going to literally let the brush do the work and create these really thin, delicate branches coming from the top of my ear all the way down towards the corners of my mouth. I then carried the design onto my forehead coming from each corner and just created these branches and then I blended the black eyeshadow into the base of the branches as well. I'm then going to further highlight my face using NYX's Ice Queen highlighter and I'm just going to run this on the top of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and anywhere will be highlighted earlier. And then for the body, I put down a very rough base of the same sky blue face paint and then blended in a royal blue face paint into the shoulders and any of these sort of contoured areas really roughly. I wanted to keep a lot of texture in here, make it look like the sky. And then for the highlighting areas, I used a turquoise face paint by Snazaroo and just tapped this in to get this really blotchy sort of cloudy sky effect. Then comes the super fun but super messy part. I'm going to water down a white face paint and use a small fan brush just to flick the white paint all over my chest uh, and all over my face as well. You want to kind of do this in clusters, so kind of keep the white paint kind of concentrated onto certain areas of your face just to try and make it look like the night sky so you want some sort of constellations and groups of stars all gathered into one area. Okay, so once the white paint is dry, you want to take a black aqua colour face paint and you want to start doing this tree design on your chest. So the trick for this is to make sure that all of the branches are trailing off up your shoulders, across your arms and onto the neck as well. Don't forget the neck because you want to try and make this look as organic as possible, but you want to make sure that the ends of each branches is really nicely blended out into a fine point. Uh, so you want to use a thin detail brush and just make sure that all of those branches look really nice and sharp. So once you're happy with the tree design, you want to take a can of black hairspray and spray your hair completely black. You can also take the hairspray from quite a distance and spray this over the tops of your shoulders, on the sides of your neck, and also along the sides of your face. What this is going to do is make a really nice blended gradient from the blues and also kind of finish the perimeter of the makeup and make everything look a little bit more seamless. 
Then what you want to do is apply a pair of white contact lenses. These ones are from CamoEyes.com. They're super comfortable. I'll leave a link to them in the description bar below for you. But yeah, once you've done that, the makeup is nearly complete. I just wanted to top up the black on the eyelid because it creased a little bit more than I wanted it to. So I just packed on top a black eyeshadow just to make it a little bit darker. And I lined my waterline using a black gel eyeliner pencil. But once you've done that, the makeup is complete. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Let me know down on the comment section below if there's any videos you'd like to see from me anytime soon and I'll make sure I get those done for you but yeah I hope you guys like this don't forget you can also now follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter I'll leave links in the description bar below but until the next video I'll see you all soon